Hi everyone, Paul Levis Brownells here and this week we've got some more new products. First up from Bobro, we've got their Scar mounts. They come in 30, 34, and uh, 35 millimeter. Very robust mounts as you can see here. And they've got quite the attachment system. They've got their proprietary lever system, quick release, uh, that solidly engages uh, your Picatinny rails. That's not gonna come loose. That's new from Bobro, their Scar mounts. Next up from Gerber, we have their short stack tool. This entire tool here fits in a Magpul MEAD or a MOE grip, and it features uh, quite a few different uh, functions you need to perform on your AR-15. Uh, you disassemble it by peeling off this rubber piece here that includes uh, actually four different bits, which you can use with another piece on the tool. Then there's three uh, basically uh, sections that you can take off one by one and you can combine them into other tools. Uh, this one here is a carbine castle nut wrench. You just attach it to the other tool and then you've got a wrench. Uh, you can use it as a grip, turn it around. Here's your bolt scraper. Uh, there's a various other attachments. There's a front sight post uh, tool, firing pin cleaning tool. You can tighten flash hiders with it. A lot of functionality in just this little guy. That's new from Gerber, their short stack. Next up from Trigicon, we've got the MRO. A lot of people excited about this one. Uh, it's a new red dot from Trigicon, really compact as you can see here, not very big. Uh, just compare it uh, to this upper here, it's a pretty small optic. It's got a 24 millimeter objective, so a really wide field of view. When you look through, you don't get a tube effect, you just see a nice uh, sight picture. Uh, it is a red dot, it's got various adjustments, uh, visible, and then it has IR as well, a few IR settings. The adjustments for elevation and windage, they're externally adjustable. They don't have caps, but they're nice and flush, so you're not accidentally gonna hit them or knock them loose. Uh, the housing for the optic, it's forged. Uh, one piece of aluminum, then they machine it out, so really rugged, like an ACOG. And there's various mounting options. Uh, there's currently three available from Trigicon. There'll probably be more to come soon. That's a new Trigicon MRO, pretty cool. And next up from Steiner, we've got some various IR visible uh, laser devices from them, a whole line really. Um, pretty great offerings. This one here, the D-Ball, it's got IR, green laser, and an IR flood. So if you need more light with your night vision, it's a great option. Uh, you can see all the various settings. It has uh, low intensity, high intensity, and then the same for the IR. Great if you're looking for a visible green laser or a really high-end IR laser to complement your night vision devices. That's new from Steiner, their laser devices. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.